All right, here we are. We are still wandering around fighting dinosaurs. Can't get through that. Oh, yeah, I can. Oh, where am I? <laughs> All right, I think up. Oh, up. Oh, nope. Is this the guy's office? How do you know it's locked? He didn't try. And the uh, hell's all gone loose. Why don't you just kick the door down or something? Or why don't you do the movie thing where you always you shoot a lock and it always unlocks for some reason? That makes sense, right? Hey, Christmas tree. I can see through her head. I forgot which way I entered this room from. So I'm just gonna have to pick a door and ex exit through it. <laughs> I'm gonna have that room. Oh, okay. Something shiny. Now the elevators will work. There's a fourth floor now. Are these servers? There's a fourth floor now. There was only three when I saw before, but sure, I'll buy that. That's how she controls inanimate objects. She hasn't controlled any inanimate objects until we got into this place and she started controlling the freaking dinosaur skeletons. But I guess that's the reason why that room existed, so you'd have that cutscene. Revive! Oh, okay. Is this the fourth floor? No, no. I was on the second floor. Gone up to the third. Oh, I was already here. Oh, uh, I'll have the lobby. The lobby. Which direction is the lobby? This is not the direction to the lobby. I was already here. The elevator, because it should be working now. That's called logic. Ah, Fudge. <laughs> Need a key. Now, I'm not getting the constant encounters anymore because I've already been through these areas. And a lot of the enemies are actually based on random encounters, properly at least. 
it seems to me like you enter a sort of sphere where the an encounter sphere and in that area as soon as you'll have your battle start and if you clear it some of them will respawn after you've killed the enemy and then left the area and came back but others seem like they are like this one uh, respond but others seem like they don't oh there's three of these now those those don't really pose much of a threat anymore you know these stairs will probably take me up to the fourth floor too might as well check out what's up here Oh, the elevator. Oh, goo! Not getting through there. I don't even want to try. Is the elevator not going to take me to the fourth floor? Whoops. Oh, I was on the fourth floor. Huh. Okay, that explains it. That did me. Shit. Can I leave? Oh, apparently I can. All right, so I took that opportunity to head back to the police station and drop off a lot of shit. And now I'm back. I I don't think I've explored the entire place yet. So I have to... Um, I got to go back and run through here again real quick. Find the damn T-Rex and kill that. way of getting the goo off the door and then find the key to allow me to access that secret elevator. Maybe that goo door. I don't think, I don't remember. Ah, damn it. Which way did I go? I went up, I believe, last time. So I'll go down. Ah, damn it. Okay. Going back up. She was so sure that deactivating the alarm would unlock all these doors. I'm kind of just aimlessly running around at this point. Okay, so I went through up the stairs and I went through the door instead of heading down when I was up here earlier. Oh, there's a treasure chest there. And, or there's two of them. And there's a fight, so I guess I wasn't here. Something good, something good. Ooh, nice. Damn it, that's awesome. Well, I mean, it's not a big stat boost. Those little permanent, even if they're small stat boosts. Oh, okay, I was in this room earlier. Just didn't come through this direction. Now, which way did I come and go when I was here earlier? I... Oh, no, I came through this way. I, this is the direction that I came in from. So there was stairs. I think I went up the stairs. Ah, okay. I did go up the stairs. The room in the last episode, I got confused about how I entered it. So I didn't know how to leave. This door may have been locked. 
Or wasn't I okay? Oh, okay, no, no, no. This is the security room. Oh, I'm an idiot. All right, I ran around this building a while. I shut the camera off so you wouldn't have be subjected to my mindless rambling and wandering. But I found that this door is open, so check it out. Or he could explain it now. Oh great, it's a shitty gun.
I burned up slower than he, the other people did. And are we on the second floor? Jumping out that window must have sucked. So he created um, a kind of artificial sperm that doesn't have mitochondria. Now I could be wrong about this. I could be wrong about this, but I do not believe sperm, or at least human sperm, has mitochondria anyway. Sperm are not intended to last all that long. And I know for a fact that the offspring of... that the offspring doesn't possess the father's mitochondria in it anyway. So that's all just fucking nonsense. But of course, I'm nitpicking, aren't I? Uh, you know what? I gotta, um... I gotta find that locked door. Locked elevator. Forget where that was. So Clamp has been not only in it all along, but he's been sort of, like, manipulating this shit. He, well, I guess Andrea were going to rebel regardless of whether he helped or not. But it, the rebellion was always going to fail because of this whole other's mitochondria rebelling against Eve. Eve's. So, he's actually giving this mitochondrial rebellion a chance of succeeding. And we tried stopping Eve from, from sperm jacking the, uh, the hospital, but of course we away with it anyway, and now we saw she was pregnant in that security footage. So now it seems kind of late that we, um, that we have the hell it is that we're supposed to do. Shit, I, I got lost again. Seems a little bit late that we find out we're supposed to prevent her from giving birth to this ultimate being here. I'm gonna shut the camera off until I have no sense in watching me do this. I won't be able to think of enough shit to say to keep it entertaining. I'm not even sure I've kept it up entertaining up until this point. See you in a minute. All right, found a place to use the key. Where the hell am I now? Am I still in the lobby? Ah, I'm here again. Eh, ah, all right, hold on. All right, there's, there was a door up here. I really should have put more effort into keeping a mental note of where everything was, rather than just forgetting it as soon as I saw it. Oh, look at that. That's made out of polygons. Ha! Oh, you know what? That's an herbivore. Oh boy, this is going to take a while. Oh, it's an electricity triceratops. Alright, let's step this up a notch. Yeah, that was a mistake. That's always a mistake. She's always going to be out of energy whenever, after she does the attack. Should probably think about healing her. There we go. Oh, lost his head. 
Maybe without its head, it can't do that ramming attack anymore. Of course, this electricity attack does plenty of damage, doesn't it? Oh, it does do the ramming attack, just didn't do nearly as much damage. The electricity attack is a son of a bitch, though. At least it can be. It's got to be pretty close to death. Imagine when I blew its head off, that was halfway till it's... till it's out of health. There we go. Oh, liberate! Oh, it's the most powerful attack. Oh, it's awesome. Hold on, I gotta get into a fight and use it. What the fuck? Well, at least it broke her fall. Like that was needed. That's a little more useful. How the hell did it get up there? Now let's... Oh shit. <laughs> it's right behind her. <laughs> uh, I need full PE to use Liberate. It does crazy damage. She turns into some kind of monster <laughs> and just hits it a bunch of times. I think if there's more than one enemy, she warps between them and hits them all like individually. It's so overpowered that I feel like it's almost cheating to use it. I don't think it's I don't think this T-Rex is dead. No, it's not, but like compare that to the 38 points of damage my gun is doing. Wow, that thing really hits hard. like a seam on its back. Does this have a second, um, a second phase like the Triceratops did? How the hell did I get hit by that? Oh, that was a mistake. Now I'm gonna have to wait for it to recharge. <laughs> Pecking away with minor damage until then. Oh, alright. I win. The kind of thing that the grenade launcher would have been useful for. Oh, that's a bit of a anticlimactic ending. It just fades away. She doesn't say anything. <laughs> Being attacked by a T-Rex is something that happens every day. But I guess she's seen enough weird shit lately. How do we get out of here?
She left quite a mess behind. Is this a door? Doesn't look like a door. Am I just gonna... Okay. <laughs> okay. Alright, 25 minutes off to end the episode. Thanks for watching, though.